Eleven major broadcasts and print media corporations represent a major portion of the news information systems, providing multiple links to almost every household in North America. For many people, this means that their entire source of news and information comes through the filters of these eleven corporations. Advertising in the media has been commonly regarded as the voting system weighted by income. The main business of media is to sell audiences to advertisers. Large corporate advertisers rarely sponsor programs that contain serious criticisms of corporate activities, such as negative ecological impacts, the workings of the military-industrial complex, or the continuing corporate support of third world dictatorships. Media organizations rely heavily upon news provided by corporate and government sources, which have organized divisions to provide this material to the media. These bureaucracies subsidize the media, and the media must be careful not to antagonize such an important investor. The development of right-wing corporate flak producers such as Accuracy in Media are used to harass the media and to put pressure upon them to follow the corporate agenda. Flak was developed in the 1970s when major corporations and wealthy right-wingers became increasingly dissatisfied with recent political developments and with media coverage. The ideology of the external threat is integral to the Western political culture. It provides the fuel which makes the propaganda model operate so vigorously. External threats have been ingrained into journalistic practices to the point that even in periods of peace it is expected for journalists to frame issues in terms of our guys versus the bad guys.